What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Uh, once again, here, Earthmaster on the live stream. Uh, it is Tuesday, March 29, 2022, about 9 12 p.m. California time. Latest quake out there a 3.3 earthquake showing up into the area of, uh, looks like just right around the Costa Rica area, just north of there. I uh, wanted to do a quick update on the uh, massive amount of tremor activity taking place today. I'm not for sure why I didn't notice this earlier. I don't know if they put this out late or not, but uh, this is a considerable amount of tremor activity just for one day. We're looking at 940 epicenters of tremor, close to a thousand tremors uh, in a 24 hour period. And uh, like I say, I'm not for sure exactly what happened, how it got. Uh, covered underneath the rug so to speak but uh, I don't recall ever seeing a number such as this in one given day uh, I was looking back here through the little history here of uh, reports and I think the at least the most uh, I seen here was last year around October 3rd 2021 about 803 epicenters on one day but uh, Man, we go from a, a very quiet spell to an enormous amount of tremor activity here just for one day. Most of it uh, oh, looks like right around the southern Oregon area and up here around the Vancouver Island ranges right at the uh, southern end there. So we're looking at a pretty wide swath of uh, tremor activity. I was looking on the earthquake activity map here tonight. We're not seeing too much in the way of uh, subsequent earthquake activity. At least up here in the uh, in the states, uh, same for the earthquakes Canada map. I know they had some activity here uh, oh, last week or so at the northern end. Looking at the regional view today of uh, the Cascadia, most of it here is on the backside here of the plate boundary uh, with the Pacific and the Juan de Fuca plate. Not really seeing too much in terms of earthquake activity here at the uh, Cascadia subduction zone itself. Of course, this was here from uh, oh, a week or so ago, this activity. Also seen a little bit of general movement here down deep into the subduction zone itself here at the northern end of the Vancouver Island ranges. So uh, just kind of a kind of a crazy deal to see that much tremor in one day. Like I said, I don't, I don't recall the last time I ever seen that happen. Uh, looking back throughout the charts here, and I do keep up on this quite a bit, but uh, not for sure what happened tonight in the update. Not for sure if they put it out late or if I just, uh, man, maybe I forgot to hit the refresh button. Either way, uh, I had to get this update out here to see, uh, uh, at least let folks know there's a massive amount of trimmer activity. Uh, this is all we need, right? This major trimmer activity along with the G3, uh, G class storm coming in, G3 class storm, solar storm. I've always said though, whenever we see, whenever we see this uh, massive buildup of tremor, ultimately I believe we're looking at heightened pressure here along the locked area itself. Because if you think about it, uh, while that tremor activity down dip here is uh, there basically two plates sliding past each other, where is that momentum? Where is that, where is that pressure, so to speak, building? Uh, and that's ultimately up here along the locked area, without any release of pressure and. Uh, uh, we're not seeing, uh, definitely not seeing any um, release of pressure out here along the uh, Cascadia as far as surface movement goes. Uh, I can only help but wonder if that thing's getting ready to uh, release some type of energy there. That's just a lot of movement here, folks. So, all right, I'm going to jump off here. Um, I did want to just do a quick update on this activity. Everything still stands the same here for a G3 storm coming in on the 31st of March look for that uh, looks like um, we could be seeing possible roars down to Illinois uh, and possibly Oregon area as well uh, let's see where the uh, space weather event log went to uh, looks like the uh, early UT uh, UT hours of March 31st uh, it says a cannibal CME okay that's kind of because we got a couple CMEs headed our way uh, we got one coming in for a uh, early arrival and then we got two uh, that should be combined as one and someone noted here in the comments that uh, our Earth's magnetic field should be kind of uh, well 
rebounding, if you will, or, or in a uh, state of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, recovery, I guess, from the first CME, uh, that this, uh, this second pair could possibly uh, uh, really enhance the, uh, the uh, geomagnetic storming when it does arrive. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, I don't think it's going to be a fluke at all. I think we're going to see a, a pretty good solar storm kicking up here. And what that brings to the uh, earthquake department, earthquake table, we'll have to see. But uh, anyway, uh, naked eye auroras can descend into the USA as far south as Illinois and Oregon. So geomagnetic latitude of 50 degrees We'll see how this plays out. Uh, anyway, thanks for the uh, info there on the trimmer count. Again, I am not for sure how that got past me because normally I'm pretty adamant at uh, looking at the trimmer. That's kind of what I do all the time here, but uh, somehow on the biggest day, it slipped past me. Pretty odd. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you a little bit later. And, of course, if anything uh, drastic happens, we will... Uh, jump on here with an update. Stay safe, folks.